Hello. <laughs> welcome, welcome. This is a bop. I love this. Again, Vanillix Pavilion. Check them out on YouTube. They're great. Great remixes of Pokemon music. Um, but speaking of Pokemon, I got Poke Fever. Uh, after last night, after getting like some progression going, uh, and now being able to control that uh, sea toddle, I think is what it's called, how you pronounce it. Um, I want to, I want to do more. I want to see more areas, catch more Pokemon, unlock more things. So, without further ado, you know, let's just get to it. Uh, I'm having a bit of a conference here with some friends, but uh, you know, we can move on from that. Let's see. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let me make sure my levels are all good. <laughs> Where are you? There you are. I was looking for a specific thing on my desktop. Let's say, uh, Coriodon's just having a good old conversation with these cutie... What are they, cutie fans? Cutie fans? I forget exactly what they're called, but these little elephant guys who I always um, thought they were pretty cute. So yeah, I don't know how long I'll be going tonight, um, but I think I'm going to go first and foremost. Also, that one is really tiny compared to the other ones. Uh, I'm going to go to a Team Star location, because I think there's one over here. Is there another one over here? Oh, where am I? Oh, okay. I'm, like, close to crossing over. Oh, I beat this guy. Who are you? Oh, he's the normal gym. Okay. So, I'm gonna beat the Team Star person here. Still no luck. Uh, well... I don't know if this will be rubbing it in or not. I, I hope it's not, but I actually caught another si uh, shiny last night. Um, I will bring it out for you. Shiny Relic! It just happened on it right before I uh, stopped playing for the evening. It's, uh, it's brown. Um, I was looking up what a, sh what a bravery is going to look like. It looks a little odd, <laughs> to say the least, but I'm wondering if we can do the Husu uh, what is it? Husuian? The uh, Arceus version of the Pokemon. I wonder if we could do that with the Bravery, because that one looks kind of cool as a shiny. Uh, but right now, just uh, using him for the moment. I'm probably not going to keep him for a long... I mean, I'm going to keep him. Just not going to keep him with me for long. Because um, I want to ultimately get a Ponyard. Um, oh yeah, Annihilate evolved. Let's see, bring you out. He looks uh, pretty spooky. Okay, don't attack the Pokemon. They're they're being nice to us. Um, but yeah, two shinies. Kilowatt is it like green, ugly green? I feel like a lot of the green ones are just like they need to stop with it. <laughs> Make something other than a green shiny, please. They put them on the worst Pokemon, too, like... Chansey Shinies are green, and it's just like, I don't want a green Chansey, that doesn't look good. Oh, it's a red, hmm. Oh, look at him. <laughs> good night. Um, and I wanted to show Tinkaton, because, uh, she evolved, too. Like, I probably should have just stayed on for, like, another battle, because I, I fought a wild Pokemon. With a primate, primate got went up in level, evolved, and then Tinkatuff evolved into her final form. But all right, not flat enough. How about that? Um, what is her name again? 
Tinkaton. So now she's got a big ass hammer. But yeah, I'm gonna leave these elephants alone. Uh, my target is that way, and we're gonna get this going. All right, everybody, say goodbye. Up. Oh. I just wanted to say goodbye. I don't want to fight you. See if I can make it. This glide does not, like, surprisingly, does not take you very far. I feel like. Also, what was that? Oh, uh, is that a bishop? No, that's a lady. I beat her already, and we're on the ground. <gasps> yeah, offline I was mostly checking out like more of the. The raid battles. I'm still doing all of them like solo, but I just kind of wanted to see if there was any cool Pokemon in them. But for the most part, they were the standard ones that I've been seeing. Yeah, funny enough, I actually ran into a swarm of Watchroll last night. Ah, damn it. So apparently Violent is future Pokemon and like Robot and Scarlet is past Pokemon, whatever that means. Um I I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think one of the Titans in Violet, the Dawn fan, it's like it looks more like a a tank, like it has like treads. And in this game it looks more like a mammoth, so I think it's like subtleties like that. And I don't know, maybe the school looks a little bit more futuristic in Violet? I'm not too sure. But we're gonna go kick some star, but... Who is this guy? Oh, I think it'd be Jordy. Oh, I gotta cross the river still, huh? Hmm. Where do I do that at? Yeah, not gonna lie, that's another reason why I uh, chose Scarlet over Violet. I just liked... Uh, again, Pokémon that look like Pokémon, not robots. <laughs> like, who would want that for their future? A future of Pokémon that are machines and not living things. That kind of takes the fun out of it. In my opinion. This is the teams for now. Uh, where's that little... Yeah. I hate the noise these things make. The gimme ghouls. So I try to find him like right away so I don't have to listen to it anymore. <laughs> Let's see, I think I've... Ah, uh, I've only beaten three? Okay. Never mind. Um, let's see, did anything else interesting happen last night? I don't think so. Oh, I bought some like really expensive shoes. I don't, you can't really see them too much, but... They were like 60,000 Poké Dollars. <laughs> but so far, they're the only shoes that I, want, I saw that looked kind of cool or interesting. Most of the, stu the shoes I've seen are just like ugly sneakers. I'm not a big sneaker person, but yeah, just uh, like ugly sneakers. Rain dance. Oh, uh, did you ever get your scyther? Or did you, did you try to get a scyther and teach it false swipe? Yeah, I was thinking about that earlier. I remember you saying you hadn't done a lot of the Team Star stuff, and it seems to unlock more... <laughs> that seems to unlock more TM, so... I just beat the Elite Four and found out why Naimona has the money. She's the champion, right? 
Like, I think she's, like, legit the champion. Oh, it's you, Chris. Clive. Yep, that's me, Clive, the normal academy student. <laughs> anyway, Chris, I owe you one. Thanks to you, I've been accepted into Operation Starfall. What's your end game? I still think this dude, like, leads our... Or used to lead Team Star. I need answers, that's all. Oh, wow, damn, that's a lot of money. Yeah, she sure is rich. <laughs> um, how do I resolve this situation with Team Star? And what's causing its members' odd behavior? Team Star is the subject of more than a few nasty rumors swirling around the academy, you know? Some say their bullying was has caused a worrying number of students to drop out of school. Others say they're holed up in their bases, plotting to cause trouble for the academy. But these are rumors. The matter I am directly confronted with is something else. I'm talking about Team Star's persistent truancy. They've all been skipping class for a while now. I mean, you're just a student though, right Clive? Why would you care? Five of them in particular, the so-called bosses of Team Star, haven't so much as set foot inside a classroom for over a year. And it seems that the team rank and file have recently started stirring up mischief as well. That's why I took it upon myself to issue a direct order to Team Star to disband. Really? You can't make more false wipes? Uh, I informed them they should refuse. I would have no choice but to expel all students affiliated with their team. As Clive, the student. <laughs> but I'm afraid there's no response, and the deadline I set for them to make their choice between dissolution or expulsion is nigh upon us. So you see, when I overheard you talking on the phone with Cassiopeia, it couldn't have come at a more crucial time. Speaking of which, it's Cassiopeia. Can you hear me? Irk. Whisper, whisper. Another time then. Be careful. Oh, I think I also got a new phone case. <laughs> I see you're coming to one of Team Star's bases. Was there someone with you just now? Just me. Well, be warned that Team Star will have its guard up after losing one boss to you already. This base won't go down easily as the last one. Proceed with extreme caution. I'll be in touch. I think I got it. Because uh, this game lets you level up really quick, and I'm pretty damn strong. Let's get them a scare while we're at it. Send this freaky, crazy monkey ghost. Whoa, whoa, you can't be here. This base belongs to Team Star. If you don't clear up real quick, I'll have to come at you in self-defense. You get me? I'm not turning back. Bruh. Well, all right. Time for me to self-defense the snot right out of you. I'd like to see you try, bozo. Getting you force. Team Star grunt. You don't even have a name, you're just a grunt. Hmm, perfect timing. Uh, I just taught Train Punch to Annihilate. Let's try it out. The one thing about Annihilate that I'm not sure if I like or not is the fact that its eyes are red. Tinkerton wants to learn Fake Out. Uh, no thanks. Like, I get it, the rage has consumed him, but... It feels a little gimmicky. I, I don't know. I defended, defended myself right, but it wasn't enough. Because I kind of see Annihilate as like a Super Saiyan. Like, it got powered up, that's why its hair's sticking up. Man, you're crazy strong. 
Wait, are you that kid who declared war on Team Star? Call me Chris. <laughs> Whoa, thanks for the terrible news. Excuse me while I book it back to the rest of my crew. Hasta la vista. Hey, Chris. It's me, your boy, Clive. KSUOP had told me to scope out the fire crew's base. I thought I'd give you some backup now that I'm through, but it seems you're all set. Boof one? What? Oh, check it out. Is... <laughs> Is that you, Charlos? Foo! I thought so. What are you doing here? Is this Pokemon yours? This is Charlos the Charcadet. He's one of the Pokemon the Academy takes care of within its grounds. Oh, maybe I'll get, like, the thing that makes him evolve. Charlos, wait. He ran off. Looks like he may have some connections to Team Star's fire crew. Better chase after him. Don't worry. I'll regroup with you soon enough. You press ahead in the base, Chris. I see you dealt with the grunt standing guard. Nice work. Station inside that base is Team Star's fire crew. Shedar? The Sh Shedar squad. Their boss, Mila, is the best all-arounder of the team. She fixes any and every problem thrown her way through her methods. Our, though her methods are heavy-handed. Our declaration of war must have made her blood boil. I bet even now her grunts are hard at work inside the base, trying to keep her fury under control. That means your best move is to take down all the grunts nice and quick. Once there's no one left to help Mila, keep her cool. Once there's no one left to help Mila, keep her cool, she should come out and confront you. Ring the bell on the gates? Yeah, I know that's part. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Let's get this on the way. Oh, yeah. First three Pokemon. Uh, Probably not you, because you're... Oops, no. I'm going to start with you. And... We'll just throw you in as a backup. Alright, now I'm ready. Some kid lucked out beating one of our sister squads, and now he thinks he can take his son. Time to give him the boot, gang. Let's show this Gatecrasher what Team Star can do. And if you're listening, Gatecrasher, knows this. Unless you can beat 30 of us, 10 minutes, yeah, 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 we get that. We, I know the deal. They give you a lot of time to do this, too. that one. I will say, seeing Annihilate, like, coming at you would be really scary, though. So I can call him back. Ooh, Torkoal. I wish Torkoal was better. I like Torkoal. Annihilate this way. Fonzire walks like a seal. Mm. 
Right, who else wants some? Alright guys, that should be it. Let's go down this little corridor. We fight our second boss. One more for good measure. Our defenses are breached. It's all up to the boss now. I think some of the Team Star bosses look pretty cool. From what I remember, she looks pretty cool. She has some pretty sick boots. Punk rock chick. Mila. So you're the dope who picked a fight with Team Star. I don't know why you do something so stupid, and I don't care. You challenged us, so we'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. Prepare to get messed up. Also, I think you were you had mentioned uh, that the car was actually a Pokemon. You're right. I ended up catching one of the motor ones yesterday afterward, like a after the stream. It's a weird idea for a Pokemon, but they explained it well. Like, it's a ghost that got inside a motor, so... At least it makes sense why it looks like a motor. <laughs> right here, right now, you're going down. I'm pretty sure Turkle's also rock, so... Oh, I guess not. This move will torch ya, till there ain't nothing but ash left. And she likes to talk trash. Uh, are you referring to like the mech Pokemon in the that come later on in this game slash your game? Because if so, I would agree. Like it looks weird, but it still has a Pokemon look to it. Some of the other ones that I've seen just look like, yeah, I I agree with you on that. All right, now I fight the car, right? It's a little sweet. Oh, I thought that would do a lot more. <laughs> Look at it. He's kind of cool. I like a, I like Annihilate. River Room. So I'm guessing they all have a River Room. Ooh. Alright, you're a... A little harder now. Um, I don't think I should change just yet. It's Rage Fist. Ooh, close one. I defeated Mila, two star. <sighs> Is this really how it's gonna end? What a hassle. Go back to school, Mila. <clears throat> About a year and a half ago. Man, what a hassle. Pulled it off just in time. Welcome back, Melly. I managed to get a bunch of Charcadet to evolve. That ought to be enough to power the Starmobile and finally get that hunk of metal rolling. 
Glad tidings. In... Glad tidings. That's a weird saying. Glad tidings indeed. Is it not so, Ortega? I'm just surprised she's not all hot air. Oh, shut it with your snide comments. You can't be. You can be such an annoying twerp. You know that. As if you're any better, Mila. Being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. That's not true, Ordy. The girls at the Academy have always been jealous of how cute Millie is. She just puts on a surly attitude so they'll stop picking on her. Although, I guess you're not wrong to say that her surly attitude is what people know her for. What? Come on, not you too, Ari. How about we leave it at that, folks? It's almost time for the big event. Yes, Operation Star. It's finally happening. And the big boss. What prey is their plan? They already got in touch with all the bullies and asked them to head over to the schoolyard. Oh, so are they the anti-bullies that became the bullies? It's finally time, huh? Man, I'm so stoked. The thrill's burning me up right now. I burned through everything I had and now I've sputtered out. Guess this is where it ends. That Annihilate of yours really let us have it. Beating me in battle's a huge deal, so here, take this star badge and be proud of yourself. <laughs> Ouch. She's got quite the grip. Well, I'm out of it. You can have this TM2. Not like I'm going to use it. Flame Char. That's a good one. Let me make one thing clear. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving them to your Annihilate. You got what you came for. Now leave me alone. You're Amila from Team Star, right? There's a Pokemon I'd like you to see. Who are you supposed to be? A uh, Charcadet? Wait. Is that her Charcadet? Well, if it ain't Charlos, what are you doing here? It seems he came to the space looking for you. You did? He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I can't even tell. I can even tell more or less what he's thinking just by looking at the way his flames move. Do you have any idea why Charlos wanted to visit you? Charlos. To me, it looks like he's saying that he wants to come back. He wants you to come back. Just shut it already, would you? They say Team Star has holed itself up in these bases to plot something against the Academy. Were you aware of this? First, I've heard of a stupid. First, I've heard of a stupid rumor like that. Man, nothing's changed back since then. Everyone's still spouting garbage. Then what about that modified car you were motoring around to just now? Starmobile? We made that thing a long time ago to help us out with the big fight. But we never actually used it against anyone before you, tink you two came looking for trouble. You never used it before? And what's this about a big fight? You ever heard of Operation Star? Operation Star? Not Operation Starfall? No, this is the first I'm hearing of it. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. But for me and the rest of Team Star, it's a memory we'll always treasure. And we will find out more next time, it looks like. Chris, it's me. I take it that Mila's star badge is now in your possession? Yep, yep. I see. Now that there's no boss to lead them, the rest of the sh Shadar, Shadar squad shouldn't have last long. Uh oh. Who are you fighting? Are you, uh, grinding through the Elite Four again? Mila. Sorry, I got distracted for a second time there again. Now about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Nice. I'll have my supply unit meet you shortly to deliver some bonus materials. 
I whited out once the very beginning. Um, I was just kind of wandering around, and I was doing that thing where you just send your Pokemon out to find fight random things, and then something got to me, um, and I couldn't run away, and then I ended up wiping. Hello, it's me again from the supply unit. What? What the heck? <laughs> Somebody help! I could not animate the tongue actually making contact. Oh, so it's a little warm in here. Bleh! Drooled all over me. What even is that Pokemon anyway? Um, it's really awesome. I guess that's one word for it. Wait, is it really that special? Uh, um, but before I forget, here's your reward. Lots of Pokemon materials. Oh, okay. It's a surprise, gotcha. <laughs> um, your name is Chris, right? Since you're part of Operation Starfall's battle unit, can I ask you something? What do you think of Team Star? I mean, I kind of like them so far. I wouldn't join them, but I... They seem like they have a lot of depth, which I feel like most of the evil teams they don't really go into. Interesting. You know, some of the rumors say Team Star wasn't always a bunch of delinquents. Most of them used to be victims of bullying, or they just found it hard to interact with people. But then, these misfits and outsiders found each other and banded together to form Team Star. All they wanted to do was push back against the bullies they couldn't face alone. But, uh, that's just info I got by hacking other students' social media accounts. We should probably be, not be doing that, Penny. I also found talk about some secret mastermind behind the five bosses. Someone who recruited them all to be the team in the first place. I normally don't talk this much. Now my throat kind of hurts. I know the feeling. When I first started streaming, like, I always ended with the sore throat. <laughs> so, uh, good luck with taking down the other spaces and stuff. Goodbye, Cassiopeia. Alright, um... So, yeah, I think I was gonna head back to the west side. Oh no, there's another Titan Pokemon over here that I found, so I'm going to do that first. I'm pretty sure it's that giant Earthworm. Also, is that... Ooh, nice. I have my suspicions on who it may be that you're fighting. Wild speculation, but... And don't tell me, but <laughs> uh, I have a feeling Penny is the is the big boss. Either Penny is or Clive is slash um, the the, uh, the headmaster. Also, I don't think I've ever actually gone into a base afterwards. Overnight. I really like. I do like Corviknight a lot. But uh, for Steel Flying types, uh, Skarmory holds a special place in my heart. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. So although it's probably inferior to Corviknight. It always has a spot on my team. Alright, let's see if I can find that little thing. I won't listen to it gurgling anymore, um, especially when we're looking at new TMs. Got. 
I wish it would show you the newest ones. Maybe it does. Well, I don't think it does. That might be new. There's a lot of fairy moves. Or psychic, I should say. Never mind. Rock Blast? No, thank you. Oh, Dragon Tail. That's definitely new. Hmm. Still nothing really of interest for me, though, at least, but... So, she's taken care of. Next is this. And then once I do that, I'll head over here again to take on that guy, and that looks like this Titan. Yeah, okay. Oh, you have the, the blue truck in it though, right? The, like, one with the flame blade. I think that one looks really cool. Like, of the two, I like that blue, that, uh, dark blue one more. I think it looks, like, super badass, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go fight this titan real quick. Learn more about the sad doggy. Buzz off. Yeah, I like Lucario. I love, um, Raichu. I'm guessing it's a regular Raichu, right? They don't have the Alolan Raichu in here yet. Cause I'm tr still trying to figure out if there's if it's possible to get like the alt form of some of these Pokemon in this game. I feel like there is some option. Oh wait, is the Alolan form? Oh, normal form. I mean, normal form is cool. I, I prefer the normal form, honestly. Um, I do. I just like that. The psych. Uh, it has a psychic second typing. But yeah, Raichu is probably my favorite of the uh, like Pikachu-like Pokemon. Which is, you know, kind of a weird thing to say because it is literally the, the Pikachu Pokemon. But like when you look at like Pachirisu and um, Emolga and all the other ones that are like Pikachu, uh, Raichu's my favorite. All right, um, let's put somebody else up front for a little bit. These are all gonna be rocks, so you're probably not the best. So, well, actually, you shouldn't be here, or you. Uh, so, box eight for now are the Pokemon that I'm thinking about using at some point. Um, but some of these people should not be here. Squawkabilly. 
So right now, aside from the party Pokemon, I have a Tauros that's also a fire type it's, um, in addition to fighting. I got Palmot, uh, Dino. Capsicid is only because only because it's like the only grass type Pokemon that I have at the moment. Char Cadet, who I will eventually evolve, and but I'm waiting on when I can actually get to that. This Sandile is pretty good, uh, as far as it's like natures and stuff. Iggly Buff, um, hopefully I can get a Wiggly Tough, and the uh, Shallows, because they're always good to have a Shallows. They got a real good typing. Oh no, low battery. I have to switch controllers here in a sec. Are these like trash cans? What are these? is also here because I'm afraid of KOing Pokemon that I'm trying to catch right now, so him being a little weaker is also the reason why I'm using him. folk. So you never played Arceus, right? I was gonna ask, which, uh, do you like that new Arcanine slash Growlithe form that they had in Arceus? What does the shiny look like for a Lucario? I have Cerebi open. <laughs> Um, oh, that's interesting. It's like, it's like an inverse of its colors. That's kind of cool, actually. Yeah, again, I totally recommend Arceus. Great game. So I've heard eventually you'll be able to transfer the Pokemon from that game into here. So I am excited for that. Come on, new Pokemon. I want new Pokemon. So that's a deep hole. Uh, I'll probably jump in it. Because <laughs> that's what I do. But let me look around a little more first. Larvitar. I already have one of you, but... Let's take a look. Yeah, I thought the Growlithe form was pretty cool. Or not the Growlithe. Well, I mean the Growlithe form. I, I didn't mind the Growlithe form, actually. Um... But yeah, the Arcanine form looked really cool in Arceus. Alright, Larvitar. Um, I'm not gonna bother. I already have one, so. Relic's just gonna get really messed up in that kind of fight. No, Diglett. Damn it. Alright. Well, fine, I'll destroy you then with my shiny relic. Oh, okay. So you've never played Shorten Sword and Shield either then, huh? I will say, I feel like Sword and Shield did some things right. Like, in the fact that it just looks better than this game. 
Um, but I don't know. I didn't enjoy the story so much. So far, this one, while it is kind of gimmicky with the school thing, um, I'm, I'm still enjoying the options and the variety of the stories in this game. But yeah, Sword and Shield is more of like a straightforward normal Pokemon game where, um, you know, do the gym challenges. They're, oh my god! Ah, get off the thing. New shiny! Uh -huh. So, another reason why I'm keeping Rowlet around. Because even if it crits, up until the last moment, it should be able to do little enough damage not to KO it. Shoot, now it's getting close though, so... Let's try this Pokeball. Um, what are you gonna look like? Uh, yeah. It's a shiny. I'm gonna look it up. I like to coordinate my Pokeballs with my Pokemon, if I can. So I want to see what Copper Raj turns into. Okay, so it's like a... It's still kind of a yellow. Um, Luxury Ball. Let's try that. Oh, nice! Man, I'm finding a lot of shinies in this game. This is the third one I've gotten. No, thank you. Let's just take a look at what you are good at. Uh, you're gentle. Okay. That makes sense. You're an elephant. Oh, that's rough, man. It's always the worst when you, like kill a shiny or if it runs away from you. So, these aren't the worst stats. I mean, probably would have been better if, like, uh, the lower stat was speed, because it's already, or a special attack even, would be better. But it's not the worst. I mean, most things that are going to be hurting it are going to be special attacks from fire. But they're also the physical attacks from fighting. Is that another one? Get out of here. I still don't know what the heck the Gimme Ghoul gimmick is. Well, the feathers you find in this game help with that. Just buff his speed and special defense. they called? I have a bunch of those feathers. I, I sold quite a few yesterday because I don't know what they were used for <laughs> um, to buy my shoes. Nice ultra ball. Uh, what was I doing? I think I was just looking around. Um, yeah, let me make sure what I got. Like these, right? The pretty feathers, or is it something else? I just. in the same area of the backpack as the rare candies? 
Oh, Swift Feathers, okay. Oh, these. Yeah, I haven't sold these. I've only been selling those other ones. To be honest, I didn't even know that these existed. I was kind of like, just assuming every feather I picked up was the same feather. Hmm. He's on a Pokemon this space. Oh, okay. I should definitely be using these. Hmm. Good to know. Thanks for pointing that out. I just assumed like it was going to be like other games where it's the Zinc and Carbos and all that other stuff. That was the final song. Not interested. Not, not, not right now, at least. So I was reading online. I thought there was Ponyard here somewhere. That's what I'm kind of looking for. It's the first wild clogs I've seen. I think. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just saw a Voltorb commit suicide. <laughs> it just blew up. I ran by it and it blew up. <laughs> and then it disappeared. Oh, is that a cave? What is this? I don't know. See you later. See, I think that's why I don't mind as much. Um, I think I mentioned that I didn't really like the like ice cream Pokemon because it just looks like an ice cream. Um, with this one being like, I think it said something of like a like a ghost Pokemon got into it. Like that makes more sense. Like it makes it a little bit more believable that it looks like that. So that's why I'm, I'm like. I remember uh, somebody yesterday in chat was like, they think Pokemon has run out of ideas, and to some point I think they have run out of good designs. Um, like, I feel like each generation has less and less designs that I kind of like, but I still fairly like them for the most part. But that, in that case, in this case particularly, I disagree a little bit. I, I like that. I like it enough that I don't hate it, <laughs> if that makes sense. Alright, explode, go on. Right, where the hell is this? Uh, I might as well stop at this place real quick. Just to get it on my map. So it looks like a tiny town. Zapasio. Oh, the central Pokemon Center over there. Meow, where are the Ponyards? Please point them out. Circle! 
I'm not sure I catch Torkoal. I like Torkoal. I think I like... There's like a funny scene in the anime where... Ash like uses Torkoal. And they're on the water because he's like it's a turtle. He assumes that he could swim. And it just like sinks. <laughs> oh, Rowlet, you're not gonna survive, are you? Now things get interesting. Mm. Well, fire probably won't do too much to it. Oh yeah, I forgot, I gotta change my controller out. I mean, there'll be more Torkoal. Alright, let's revive. So, out of the three routes, I'm guessing the Elite Four, or the uh, Pokemon League route is how you get to the credits, right? Because I doubt it would happen when you... Like, finish the Titan quests. Oh! Interesting. Okay. Huh, I wonder how that works out then. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Hmm. I'll give the, I mean, giving this game more props in, uh, there's just, like, little things like that that kind of make it feel different enough that it's not just the same formula. Alright, uh, take two. Oh, watch out, Torkoal! The sunlight turned... Rowlet may be a little too weak against Torkoal. I mean... Megahorn is... Maybe a good bet. These Voltorb are just blowing up everywhere. Uh, oh well, less than I thought it was gonna do. It has high defense, I'm sure, so... Ugh, nice. Torkoal, you get the red Pokeball. I don't know why it's telling me to use a repeat ball. I've not caught you yet. Stay in the ball. Ooh, okay. Surprise that didn't burn me. What else do I got?
Torkoal, the cold Pokemon. It burns coal inside its shell for energy. It blows out smoke soot if it's endangered. I think I'm doing pretty good on the Pokedex this time around. Something I'm shameful to admit. I've never completed a Pokedex in any game. But I'm hoping to change that with this one. I almost did it in Sword and Shield, but then they add the expansion pass, and so, like, um, I also didn't get the expansion pass for that, because I was kind of disappointed with Sword and Shield a little bit, but... Yeah, like, I, I really think I can do it. Like, it's a lot easier to hunt the Pokemon in this game, so that'll help by miles. I just realized the next base is like right here too, so I might do that before going back to the gym leaders. Damn rock. I want an ice rock so I can involve my whale. I think there's a store nearby though that might have it. But let's go in the tunnels. I haven't been down the tunnels yet. Larvitar! Didn't mean to run into you, Larvitar. Just passing through. Excuse us, excuse us. Might have to get off Corridon for this. on here. Move it, Ghastly. Um, let's try one more cave. Oh, nice. Yeah, I feel like they've been doing that as of late, which I really like. You get to keep doing stuff after after the game proper is over. Also, what the hell is this gimlet? I'm not even sure what that's supposed to be. Damn it. Crit, that's why. Oh, got you already. Excuse us, excuse us. Sure, let's have a Pokemon fight. My babies do any day now, I gotta get serious. Why are you hiding out in a the cave then, dude? It's the middle of the night, Crystal Ball. Crystal Ball. jerk about it. Also, why is the construction worker look like he's gonna fight me too? This is how you get mugged. I 
wish I could have gotten a bit more serious in that battle. I wish you didn't poison me for no reason. Alright, what the hell is that? Oh, it's the Zangoose. Oh, is he gonna attack me? Yeah. Hold on, let me heal my Pokemon. Some lemonade, why not? There's a lot of larvitars. Popped up in a lot of Satan eyes. This is littered with Pokemon. Yeah. Okay, let me change my controller real quick. Alright, back at the game. I don't like using my actual Switch controllers, because I have a third-party Switch controllers, and the wireless functions on them don't really work that great. Alright, no more distractions. We're heading to the Titan. Let's go. Said, let's go. A thunderstone. There's a ponyard! Where'd it go? Oh man. Did he spawn? I think it did. Well, shoot. Up the mountain we go. harm. There it is. Alright, what is this? I need to change over to you, I believe.
Things fast. Gotcha. Yeah. I wonder if I'm like supposed to sneak up on it, I guess. Try to get behind it. Alright, so that's not what I was supposed to do, I guess. The eyes are a bit goofy. And I wasn't expecting arms. Orthworm, the lurking steel titan. Nice. Easy. I have a good feeling about it. <laughs> Into the wormhole. Yeah, from the early pictures I saw, I was like, it might look cool, but yeah, I'm not digging it. <sighs> Damn it. Yeah, yeah, he's scared. I kicked his ass. And sneak up again. <sighs> All right, maybe you don't have to sneak up on it. Hey you, jerk face. Chris, you managed to pin down the Titan. That's the lurking steel Titan? It's uh, sure long. It would have been cool if it was like a Steelix. I think our little friend might even be feistier now after eating those herbs. We're going to need to do this together, Chris. Better have something better than a shelter with you. Not that I'll need the help. Toad School, how's that? Oh, this weird thing. Okay. I've never actually done a Nuzlocke, but I'm very interested in trying one. Ooh, one shot it. Damn. Have you ever done one before?
Yeah, this game would be interesting for a Nuzlocke. We did it, Chris. Way to go, little buddy. Did you get a look at its face, though? I didn't expect the Titan to be such a little cutie. Eh. To each their own, Arvin. I bet if we go in here, we'll find more of that Herba Mystica it ate before. Let's go find it before that thing can regroup. So I actually uh, downloaded an emulator not too long ago, um, and I played through uh, Fire Red just to like do it. Um, I didn't do a Nuzlocke, but I think if I do try one, I was going to try it out on that. I mostly did a, I, I just did a randomizer with it, so it wasn't just Fire Red. It was all the Pokemon are randomized, uh, both for trainers and for what you catch. Yes, found it. Here's our little herb. Salty herb. The shape, the sheen. It looks like it'll taste horrible, which means it's got to be good for you. Oh, you're doing five-star raids now. Yeah. I remember doing a couple in Sword and Shield. They get pretty rough. I think, like... I could do up to three by myself, but even three was really hard. Apparently, the Salty Herba Mystica helps with aching hands and feet. Good for neuropathy and numbness. So, I think the dog's gonna stand again. When you've got muscle weakness, it supposedly builds up strength again. No time to waste. Let's get some food going. Watcha! Sorry for the wait. Here's a super healthy sandwich that'll perk you right up once you eat it. Plus, a token of our friendship. Here's another Titan badge. Gaze upon it in awe as you eat. Salt Bay. Yes, Corydon. Come out, Maps to Fifth. This Pokemon's name, man. I cannot do it. Munch, munch, munch. Will the dog walk again? <laughs> Would you look at that? Seems like someone's got a proper appetite now. Hoping there was a climb ability, but I guess that works. Seems like that fellow's also slowly regaining its original strength. He said that last time. Still doesn't look like it's anywhere close to returning to its battle form. Seems healthy enough physically. Maybe it's got some kind of mental block that's preventing it from returning to its true form? What you mean? I've read about it in books before. A mental scar, like psychological trauma, you know? I think that's what you call it. Maybe it had a terrifying experience in battle, so now it's scared to battle at all? Well, don't worry, I'm sure both that brute and Mas M Mabastif will make a full recovery eventually. So how do you feel, M Mabastif? How's that Herba Mystica working for you? Well, uh, no pressure. No, not like it's fair to expect every kind of Herba Mystica to have some huge effect, right? It's not like the effects have to be immediate, either. Hey, it's okay, don't worry. Chris and I are gonna make sure you're all right as rain. I hope if this dog dies. I'm quitting this game. We've got one more herb to go, and I bet it's the best of all of them. It's just gotta be. 
All right, Chris. Next stop on our little herb hunt should be the last. But we can't lose steam until we're done. Let's keep up our momentum. Here we go. Man, I just can't imagine. What did this guy do to his dog? Hello, Sada. Yes, I know. I can jump higher now. Press and hold the B button. I wish she had more of a role in this game. Whoa! That's actually pretty good. Also, what the hell is this thing? Oh, it's that worm. I mean, I want to catch it, so... Ah, damn it. Okay, yeah. Didn't think that would kill you. This thing's got Pokeball written all over it. Standard Pokeball. Here we go. <laughs> well, great. Now, uh, that's how I'm going to remember it. <laughs> oh, my ball's stiff. going to be annoying. Look, I don't even like you. Just get in the ball. <laughs> I mean, timer ball could work. For the Pokeball, though. There we go. Woo! Orthworm is caught. Orthworm, the Earthworm Pokemon. When attacked, this Pokemon will wheel the tendrils on its body like fists and pelt the opponents with a storm of punches. It's only eight foot long. It's not even as big as an onyx. It's also weird that it's a steel type. Like, you would you would think it would be a ground type, right? Stone, please, game. Can I get in there? Like, what is the point of this? Can you go in there? I don't really got anybody spawn at the moment. What about you? Watch dragon. That is that another Titan? I haven't done. There's like a lake that has like a dragon symbol. I haven't done that yet. I think that's my last one actually. But what is the false dragon? That sounds interesting. There's a Pokemon in here that looks like Godzilla that I'm really wanting to catch as well. Is that what you're talking? Is that is that it? Oh, that guy's moving. 
Uh, oh yeah, I was gonna do the base since I was over here. Get it out of the way. Where is it at? There's the town, right? Oh no, I haven't been there yet. Oh, there it is, okay. Let's just fly to the town. Hmm, okay. Well, I think I'm actually gonna be heading after this, over that way for that Titan. I think I'm going to do that Titan and then the gym leader there. And I might call it a night there because I did promise a couple of friends that I would play uh, a game with them this evening. Not sure if we're still doing that, but in about 40 minutes is what we were thinking. But yeah, I'm definitely going to check out the the last Titan. We're so close. I'm just gonna do a quick look around on the city, see if there's anything of worth here. More doors you can't go into. More buff women. Damn. Everybody works out in Palladia. Oops, wrong button. There we go. Is there any stores around here? I saw a Pokeball over here, too. Hmm. Oh, there is a store. What is it? Just a coffee shop, though? This is kind of a pointless town. Alright, moving on. I mean, I guess I'll check it out just to see. Seabreeze Cafe. Sure, I'll eat something. Counter Power Dragon. Hmm. Do you have an encounter steel? No. Alright, let's try the spicy potatoes. kind of right up my alley at this point. My Pokemon are a decent level now. I could probably take on a couple level 50s at this point. Now catching, that's another story, but definitely could take out a few. Oh, my sandwich shop. Okay, moving out. Let's head over to... The forest. Let's see if I can make this jump. Yeah. Uh, almost, almost. Ah, nice. Actually, I didn't realize I might have to try and catch Coriodon when I get to level 50 with him. Or not level 50, uh, all the Titan badges. Maybe I should do the gym first then, just to make sure I can maybe get some Ultra Balls. Sup, Clive? Chris? Hey there, Clive. Glad to see you got my name committed to memory. Now let's pick our conversation up from where we left off before. 
As I mentioned, I joined Operation Starfall to resolve a sticky situation and to find out the reason behind Team Star's odd behavior. Above all, I want to know why the students in Team Star have stopped coming to school. And just like Cassiopeia, I want the team to disband for good. Since joining Operation Starfall with you, I've already had some success in opening up a dialogue with Team Star. I think I'm starting to understand things more clearly. But I don't have enough information just yet. That's why I want to speak with students from Team Star's other squads as well. <laughs> if you intend to take on another base, know that you can count on me for backup. Till then, see you around, Chris. Alright, let me get my Pokemon set up now. You will probably be unstoppable in there. You'll be decent. And I didn't bring you last time, so I'll bring you this time. Also, are those Impy Dimps? Oh, I like Impy Dimp. Turn around, you little freak. Also, I love her attack. I'm not gonna use it because I kind of want this, but she learns a Gigaton Hammer. She just basically smashes the Pokemon. It's like super strong. Okay. He shouldn't do much to you. Oh, close. Right, Grim Snarl's like blackish. What do we got? I mean, I would love to use a Dusk Ball, but it's not going to work at this time. Ah, let's try it. I'll try one. Hmm. There you go. Imp a dimp. Imp a dimp. Wily Pokemon. The reason this Pokemon causes trouble for those it feels close to is because Impidimp itself gets irritable if it can't absorb negative emotions. It sounds like a terrible Pokemon to have. Okay, you're quirky. Bashful. fight. <laughs> Spidops. Looks like an old person mixed with a spider. Rock smash? Oh, and that was a crit, even. Oh, you're gonna be that kind of guy, huh? Alright, well, flash cannon. Let's go with the nest ball. Oh, there's a Venomat. New Pokemon. Spite Ops, the trap Pokemon. It clings to branches and ceilings using its threads and moves without a sound. It takes out its prey before the prey even notices. It was trying to kill me. Oh, there's a Ranguru. Alright. 
definitely gonna have to come back here and catch some of these guys, but I think I'm gonna move on to Team Star for the moment. Do me a favor and go home already, will ya? No, I want to see the boss of the Navi Squad. Take me to Don Atticus. Like I said, kid, the boss told me not to let any outsiders pass these gates. That includes you. I don't care. I'm not leaving till you let me talk to Don Atticus. Give me a break, you little doofus. These people over there seem to be arguing about something. What do I want to do? Uh, go say hello. Huh? Oh great, here comes another rando to ruin my day. I didn't think grunt work for Team Star newbies would be this much of a chore. Hold on, Mr. Grunt, I think this boy might be Chris. Wait, Chris? That kid who picked a fight with Team Star? Oh, did you manage to beat that 5-star? Also, yes, that is me. I knew it. Oh boy, this ain't good. Everyone in the space is still asleep since we were up last night partying, playing video games. Leave him to me, Mr. Grunt. I'll buy some time for you guys to go wake up. Yeah? And what's in it for you? Don Atticus will be in danger if no one's here to defend the base. I owe that man my life. He's my dear compadre. And when crisis calls, one has no choice but to rally those dear to him, no matter the cost. Did you do it alone, or did you end up doing it with uh, other folk? Yeah, I have no idea what you're on about, kid, but thanks for the big assist. I feel like the raids in this are a little easier than they were in Sword and Shield, just because in that game, if you like, if your Pokemon died after three round, like if three, if three Pokemon in general died, uh, that was it. This one, it seems like you can keep coming back as long as you have time. So, it's a little bit easier, I think. I do think the time goes down, though, every time somebody does faint. Alright, you villain. If you're after Don Atticus, be prepared to face my wrath. Bring it on, kid. Turn no challenger away. Yosef. Yusuf. Gulpin. Alright. Let's use my favorite attack on it. Gigaton Hammer. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Shrudel. What the hell's a Shrudel? Bring you out, Ruffle. Let's see if you can take whatever it is. Oh, this little thing. You're a bird. Don't get confused by the birds. I talk big, but I'm no warrior. Don Atticus, I'm sorry I failed you. Damn, the stupid gimme ghoul. Chris, are you alright? I was standing watch when I heard, <clears throat> heard a ruckus all of a sudden. I got word that maybe somebody had happened. Something might have happened to you over here. 
No fair, you had backup this whole time? Is this boy one of the Academy students? Doesn't look like he's from Team Star. You're right, I'm not a member of Team Star. But Don Atticus is my compadre. I have to see him no matter what. Well, clearly you have your reasons for being here. Chris, I'd like to ask this boy some questions. You go ahead and get started on the base. Might I borrow you for a chat? Uh, my, uh, my man? <laughs> Don't worry, I won't bite. Yes, yes. Hello, Cassiopeia. The poison crew of the Navi Squad. Atticus designs the outfits for the team. You could say he's a, he has clever hands. He's also a bit of an eccentric. You can never tell what he's going to do next. So, since it's beyond us to predict how he'll respond to our declaration of war, just take out as many of the squad's Pokemon as you can until Atticus shows his face. Ring the bell in the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Navi Squad off the map. Shut up. Gonna wipe out the Navi just like an avatar. Seems the folks behind Operation Starfool are finally making a move against our base. You know what that means, gang. Time for us to shine bright and avenge our teammates. And hey, little intruder. Just so you know, if you got the skills to defeat 30 of our Pokemon, yes, yes, I know the rules. Tinker Tough, let's smash, smash and crash. Oh, yeah, no worries. Go get your food, man. I thought Tinkerton would have been the best option for this. She is immune to, to poison after all, but she's getting her butt kicked a little bit. A clog sire. Face your brother. He's way above our level. We gotta go get the boss. Poison hot rod. Ooh, ninja. Pray for, pray forgive my sudden entry. Tis I, Atticus. You're that scoundrel, Chris. I take it. You have some nerve barring your fangs at Team Star. Come then, villainous wretch. A plunge into grim poison shall be your well-deserved fate. And guard. Yeah, something tells me Team Star is not necessarily the bad guys, but we'll see how it pans out. Atticus of Team Star. I wasn't expecting that. Not but punishment awaits the wretch. 
A plague on your house. Alright, this might be a little... Fire and... Well, you're poisoned still, so... Certain moves can poison with a mere gra ga graze. Tremble, scoundrel, for that. Thy Pokemon sink. Easy peasy. Didn't even use any fire attacks, my man. Atticus of Team Star is about to send Reva Room. Nah. Take your turn, God's it. Oh, uh, yes. Four Pokemon. Um. Rock Smash? Alright, didn't do as much as I was hoping for. Um. Let's kick it on ya. It's doing a lot on me. Um, let's switch you out, shall we? Annihilate. Take it. Take it out. Oh. Okay. I thought that was going to do way more. Uh, Drain Punch. Psychic types, but I'm pretty sure poison's weak against ground. Ugh. You're gonna stain your car, my friend. Alright, that's weird that that's super effective when I am a ground type. Like, that should just be normal damage. It's a real mud blat. Mud. <laughs> Let me try that again. It's a real mud bat down there, folks. Room round two? Sure. You think you give me a taste of my own poison? Fuh, I will fight to the bitter end. <sighs> Damn muck. Let's try one more. for a little more damage, but I know who can help us out with that. Alright, Skeletard, show it who's boss. Ha! Good thing I didn't put out Tinkerton. Nice. 
Alright, Mr. Poison Man. You haven't been poisoned any of my Pokemon yet. A good night. Forgive me, my friends. Flashback. About a year and a half ago. Brother. Forgive me. It took a godly time to procure the required materials. Oh, sick. These boots are insane. Ah, yes. The move Flame Charge was my muse for those particular pieces. This outfit's very everything I imagined it'd be. Thank you so much. I merely wish to create a costume worthy of the great Infernal Airy. If it aligns with your vision, then I am content. Seems our alpha upgrades are all wrapped up, then. Thanks a ton, Atticus. You two looking like absolute beasts. Anyone who crosses this will be sweating bullets. You're so good with all these sorts of crafty things, Atticus. Those people bullying you cause you to geek out. Cause you geek out over old fashioned stuff are out of their minds. The way of the ninja is rough and fraught with thorns. He's a weeb. I neither expect nor desire sympathy from the unrefined rabble. Ooh, someone's got getting fired up. Watch out, world. Our Atticus has fighting words. Yeah, don't listen to the haters, Atticus. I think you're really cool. All right, gang, let's move on to the next step. It's time to put our backs into our battle training, so we're all prepared for Operation Star. We gotta be stronger than everyone else in the team. That's what being a boss means. Indeed it does. Henceforth, I will devote myself, devote myself heart and soul to honing my battle skills. For the sake of the team, I would give my very heart and soul, but I cannot defy the rules. Our code must be obeyed. And so, this badge is mine to keep no more. I entrust it to thy care. Honor. Take this contraption too. It contains a technique that allows one to cover their foe in gunk. Gunk shat. 102, how many TMs are there nowadays? Chris is thy name, is it not? You have utterly bested me. By thy victory stirred no bitterness within me. Such was its brilliance. Don Atticus. Uh, my, <laughs> my compadre. It seems this little fellow has been dying to speak with you face to face. Don Atticus, please, hear what I have to say. I only need a moment. Whatever brought you all the way out here? Whatever brought you all the way out here? I came to help you. If you don't start going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? When the other kids at school and I were getting bullied real bad, you and the rest of Team Star saved us. Thanks to that operation you carried out, we're all able to go to a school again. If you get expelled for being the good guys, that'd be the worst thing ever. Forgive me. Haven't you heard anything from the big boss? No, we have not heard a whisper since that fateful day. Without the big boss, Team Star cannot carry on. And without the team, the bright and merry student life we seek lies beyond our reach. We have no choice but to defend our bases until Big Boss returns to us. You evidently trust this Big Boss of yours a great deal. Who exactly are they? In truth, none of us have met him met them in the flesh. By their own words, they are a recluse, as with the rest of us. Twould seem bullying was to blame. That's awful. Though their name and face be unknown to us, they are nonetheless our precious comrade. Only our choice is to maintain our vigils from the bases, 
awaiting the day of their return. So that's why you don't go to school? But, but still, don't ever think that Team Star is all you have done, Atticus. You've got a lifelong compadre in me, and don't you forget it. My compadre, I owe you a great debt. It seems we're one step closer to the truth behind Team Star's truancy and the bullying at the Academy. But more importantly, I can't believe I had no idea about these issues the students are struggling with. They have friendships, they hold dear and reasons for acting as they do. I just couldn't see it. It's shameful how, how oblivious I've been. Uh, I believe Team Star to be the one and only treasure in my life. Methinks I may have been mistaken. Wraps that up. Chris, it's me. Anakin's star badge is now yours, then. I see. Now that its boss has been taken down, the Navi Squad days are numbered. Now Atticus, too. Sorry, I've got a lot on my mind now. So, Operation Starfall. You've taken down all but two bases, so it's fair to say it's going well. This seems like a good time to let you know what you're ultimately aiming to achieve. Our final goal is to defeat the mastermind that first recruited the five squad bosses and created Team Star, the one they call Big Boss. Who is Big Boss? Colonel, tell me who Big Boss is. Who knows? They control the five squad bosses from the shadows. That's all anyone can say. Just like Foxhound. If we de defeat this person and get them to declare the team disbanded, that'll be it for Team Star. Since the big boss never set up their own base and keeps their identity hidden, I take it they're not one for the spotlight. But once all the squad bosses are out of action, the big boss finally have to take the stage. Now, about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Have your Pokemon learn strong moves so they they continue to be of use to the operation? My supply unit rep should be with you soon. H hey there, Chris. Hi, Todoroki. <laughs> that uh, sounded like a pretty serious phone call. Uh, I was talking to you. <laughs> Tongue does never makes any contact. So, that mastermind you were talking about, Cassiopeia mentioned them to me too. <clears throat> Team Star's founder, the person who caused all kinds of misery at the Academy. If we don't take them down, I'll lose what I, what I treasure most in the world. What do you mean? Uh, no, I just... Um, that's right, I, you need your reward. Here, take it before I forget. All right, well, I'll be off then. Oh, and Chris, don't lose to those guys. Aye, aye, Cassiopeia. Oh, what the hell is that? Is that a beware? Oh, it's the squirrel. I don't like the squirrel. Squovit, or whatever the hell it's called. And on that, I will come back for you. I'm gonna go get that first, though. Yeah. Let's get some TMs.
Oh, this is like a whole area. I thought it was just like a little part. <gasps> Venomoth! Alright, what do we get? Leech life, lame. Get out of the water! No! I don't want to fight these! Out from under your nose, Impidimp. Oh, what is this? Is that a mini Team Star base? Yo, I'm in charge here. Oh, hi, this is home for Team Star Dropouts. Operation Starfall, you've declared war? That's not really of any of our business. It's not like we talk to the folks in charge. Anyway, thanks for coming. Haven't really got much to welcome a guest with, but here. Ooh. You can stay and hang out here however long you like. If you need to get going, that's fine too. These guys are so nice. Where is your gimme ghoul? I need to destroy it, for I extremely dislike it. I bet it's on top of the building, huh? Yep, there you are, you bastard. Yeah. Oh, oh calm down. Colorado Avalanche. Alright, where are we at now? We're doing level 3 raids. Still level 2. Okay. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Actually, what am I doing? I need to just travel by air. Because we're heading over here. Uh, to... Medali. Let's do the gym first, just in case. Cause like I said, I think Quarrydon is going to... I'm going to have to try and catch it after this. Well, I guess it already has the Pokeball, though, so maybe I don't. Oh, but I still really want a Ponyard. I'll get a, I'll get a Ponyard later, though. I'll get that off stream. Uh, goodbye. All right, what's this town's deal? We got a coffee shop. Churros. Shiny's food. Oh, your Pokemon. I think your Pokemon is saying it wants to come out and eat at my restaurant. <laughs> yeah, whatever. This must be like a foodie town. Don't you understand? I only want items. Give me items, not food. Uh, I mean, you do have a fancy looking place, though. Oh, it's a whole sushi place. Hello, and welcome to Treasure Eatery. Now, in regular mode. What does that mean? <laughs> Uh, no, thank you. Just gonna bother your guests, you know. 
Damn, this place is huge. You heard the rumors? I heard rumors that you could change your Pokemon's Terra type here. Turns out the food's pretty good too. Ah, so you can change it. Well, B, I don't think I ever had grub as good as this. I'll tell you what. No stores. Porqua. All right, where's the gym leader at? Let's get Mr. Bland out here. Oh yeah, this has like an amphitheater. Oh, this might be the store. Maybe. Also, I don't think I've ever noticed that there was like food in these things. All right, where's the entrance? You guys don't have an entrance here. You're just a distributor. You don't even sell in the town you distribute from. Hey, you chump! This town is an important hub here in Pal Palladia. Lots of people from other places come through, so naturally, lots of restaurants have popped up. You're of no help. Alright, I guess there's no store. I would like your finest gym leader, please. Mimona's out here. Oh, I was gonna say. Hey, Chris! I saw you going to the gym and came running. Are you, like, stalking me, Nimona? Listen, I'm really sorry I couldn't battle you last time you ran into each other. Wait, don't get me wrong. I didn't chase you down just to battle you. Then again, I guess I wouldn't mind a battle or anything if you wanted to. What do you say? Sure. Yes, battle time. You and me, Chris. Wait, hold on. I want to be sure to pick the right Pokemon from where you're at in your journey. Sorry, give me a sec to fine-tune my team. Then we can battle. In fact, while you're waiting, go and take on the gym. Hmm, okay. Welcome to Medali Gym. Listen, you register you as a challenger. Your name is Chris, yes? Great, now in order to face Team Leader Larry, whew, let's talk about a normal name, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at Medali Gym, that means ordering a special secret menu item. Specifically, a menu item at Treasure Eatery, a much loved restaurant here in Medali. Order correctly and you pass. Right now, there are three other gym challengers around town attempting this gym test. Each challenger has been given a different clue that will help them discover the secret dish. You'll be given the clue as well. Please find and battle the other challengers. The loser must tell the winner their clue. Your goal is to gather clues and use them to determine the secret dish, then order it from the waiter at the treasure eatery. Only the challenger who is able to order it correctly will pass the test. Your clue is to find out how the regulars seasons their dishes. I'd suggest by hearing what regulars at the treasure eatery have to say. Hasta luego. So we're just gonna battle while people are eating. Seems a little disruptive. I wonder if the restaurant's in on this, because otherwise I'd be pretty pissed. Ba, 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 ba. This is one of my favorite songs of Pokemon, it's the gym theme. 
It's not my favorite version. But at least it's in here. So, I heard... Heard said that there's some kind of amazing gimmick in Church Readery. Yeah, it's called, uh, people training and battling here. Secret menu item? Sorry, I don't know anything about that. Blah, 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 blah. Are you a regular here? Well, well I guess I, I come here often. <clears throat> you must be a gym test challenger. Here's a tip for you. A nice squeeze of lemon gives any dish a refreshing kick. <laughs> I was going to say, I bet I could figure it out based off of that. people at. Ah, one of the gym test challengers. I hope you're able to figure out our special secret menu item. Now tell me, what will you be ordering? I'm gonna say grilled fish. And what serving is... And what size serving will you be having? Uh, I'll do a medium. How do you want that cooked? Oh, I guess I was supposed to find some more people. Um, let's go well cooked, flamethrower style. Lemon. Got it, coming right up. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed your meal. No, I didn't. I talked to everybody I could talk to. You lied to me. How dare you? I'm guessing there's other people outside the restaurant I have to talk to then? I think he did say they were eating, or not eating, but going around town. Hey you, what's the deal here? Also, welcome back, not Diego. Trying to figure out the secret menu item. This guy's got a bird on his head. All right, I think I'm gonna look for obvious trainers. So they're probably next to people who would know a thing or two. Like, look at this dude. All suspicious. I got to order that secret dish. Do you have a clue about the secret dish? Guess I'd better beat it out of you and learn it. Haha, <laughs> have at the Gisela. Ursary. Tinkerton Smash. Nothing. I can't believe this gym test makes us steal each other's clues. That's fighting dirty. Oh, okay, so I do have to steal it from you guys, huh? Well, that sucks for you. You just failed. Uh, clue I was given for look for is a dark spot surrounded by stairs. Now, is that to find the clue, or is that the clue for the food? Long ago, the space at the bottom of these stairs was a stage for plays and concerts. The ancient Roman Pokemon Empire.
don't think those kids would know anything. Anyone here taking the gym test? Uh, excuse me, sir. I am. I cannot see you. I can tell you're ready to spill the beans about your clue. Oh, she's playing a switch. That's funny. Santiago. Doom spars. I wonder if I get to fight a. What is it? A dun dun spars? <laughs> Smash everybody. Oof. Yo, dudes, we're battling here. Some people, no respect. Do I have to tell you my clue since I lost? You do. You know, you guys really should have more than one Pokemon. Just saying. Here's my clue. Alright. The blue bird Pokemon. I'm still puzzling over that word it said. All that it keeps... All that thinking keeps me... Kept me from focusing on the battle. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. So this dude must have a clue. Oh, Twockabilly, Twockabilly. No think, no think. Medium, ha, medium. Interesting. Okay, so I guess I am supposed to find whatever that dark spot was by the stairs? Is what they said? Hmm. Maybe behind a building. Oh, this kid looks like somebody I can fight. About to ruin your day, little girl. Excuse me, you take the gym test, right? Tell me your clue about the secret dish. Adara. Gum shoe. More like gum on my shoe. <laughs> Please, sir, can you give my Dobby a clue? Greedent. What is a greedent? Don't remember, but it's probably a normal. Oh, it's that thing. I really don't like greedent. Um, rock smash. I cannot use the hammer twice. But now I can. Smash it! Oh, that's not gonna be good. Oof! You dirty, dirty squirrel. How dare you. All right, who wants some experience? Uh, you're lower than them. Let's do you. I mean, this will take you out. New move, what do we got? Close combat, huh? I don't know if I want to 
take close combat at this moment. I mean, the only problem is my Annihilate has a crap defense, so this might be good to switch out, actually. Yeah, let's do that. I wish we could just try clues like we tried Pokemon. This is a real bummer for people taking this test. The odd one out at one of the ice cream stands. Um, is that ice cream? Oh, that's definitely ice cream. Or no, those are crepes. Reflect. Um, ah, that is ice cream. But not the right one. Some as I have a battle court, you know? I wonder where you battle the gym leader. Hopefully inside the gym for once. Alright, what was your clue again? A dark spot surrounded by stairs. So, it has to be this, right? Fire blast. Okay, so medium fire blast. It's a churro stand. It's bread. Cream place. Maybe I just talked to the ice cream lady. I'd like some delicious ice cream. Okay, that's. Oh, yeah, okay, so. So, love rice balls. Okay. I think I got it. Let's see if I got this. I will be taking the grilled rice balls. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, medium. Shoot, did they say fire blast? I think they said fire blast. And then lemon. Gotcha! Medium rice balls, extra crispy with lemon. What happened to all the people? <laughs> Congratulations, you passed the gym test. I now have the right to challenge the gym leader. Please come speak to me again when you're ready to battle. you guys do to the people? <laughs> it's like they just like evaporated. 
Actually, that Tauros would be pretty good, but... Yeah, let's use the Tauros. Uh, I like the Fire Tauros. What I wanted was this. Alright, I'm ready. Exceptional everyman himself, Jim Leader Larry, yes. Head to the battle court. Who was he? Ah. <laughs> Jeez, guy. Hello. I'm Larry. I assi I'm assigned to work as the gym leader of Medelli City. Medelli Gym. Good job on making your way through the gym test. And, well, maybe try the other dishes on the menu too sometimes. Everything's good here. This guy looks like he hates his life. Anyway, my boss will dock my pay if I spend too much time chit-chatting. Let's get this battle over with. And you could just give me the, the badge. Thank you for doing business with us today. I, Larry, will be at your service. I just ate, so let's not go too hard. Sure, I won't go too hard. Tinkerton, smash it into a million pieces. Bam! It's so satisfying when it one hit KOs people. I found a Zora. I didn't even know they were in this game. I love this Pokemon. Yeah, um, I felt like I saw them in a cutscene at some point. Um, Dun Oh, the Dunsparce. Uh, let's keep. No, let's uh, put out the Taurus. I brought her. I brought him in for a reason. Bad. Now that I um hmm. I thought I saw them in a I did in the Academy, but I have never seen Oh okay. Yeah, uh I feel like if they show it, it's probably in the game, otherwise like it's why did they show it? That's what I would think. I didn't realize this Tauros didn't have many attacks still. Also, Dun Dun Spars? Really? It just looks the same. Ooh, wow. I'm gonna have to change, I think. Uh, let's use you, Annihilate. Sweep. Star Raptor. Um, two Easter eggs on the Poke Center. The ads. The one about a plane has a Rayquaza, and the one about Pokeballs has red. Oh, I haven't noticed those. I'll have to take a look after this battle. Um, oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. You're pretty good. I might end up losing this. Come on, Larry. Come on, Larry. Step it up a notch. We've got hungry customers waiting. Give them something to cheer for, will ya? Man, 
man, I would hate to eat in this restaurant. I mean, the Pokemon battles, Pokemon battles, maybe not too bad, but like, just all the noise. Well, if you're the good folks, I suppose I can put on a bit more of a show. What did you turn into? Oh, whatever it is, it's really weak against that. Close combat. <coughs> so if you've only played on the DS, did you go up to probably black and white, right? Turned it into a rock type? Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about Sun and Moon. Um, yeah, let's just get rid of the toxic spikes, I guess. What'd you think of Sun and Moon? I think if I were to rake at the Pokemon games, for me, those ones would probably be at the bottom. You certainly threw me for a loop. You're rather strong, aren't you? Enough to bring out my poker face, even. I lost, so that means I have to give you a badge. But... That battle made me super... or maybe a bit hungry. Care to join me for a meal? Oh, I'm being raided! Oh! Harbinger of Beth, thank you for the raid. Hello, Alex. Hello, Izzy. Just in time to see me uh, eat some food. Not really, but a picture of me eating food. <laughs> but yeah, welcome in. Also, it's been a while, Alex. And Harbinger of Beth, again, I love your screen name. This is for you, though hopefully a child like you has no need to put it on its namesake. Facade. The dishes here? They've all got flavor. Good flavor, I mean. Oh, don't worry about the bill. I do earn a salary, after all. Now I'd better get back to work, if you'll excuse me. I am well. I am enjoying Pokemon. Uh, I have been enjoying it for, like, since it came out. I've been non-stop playing, pretty much. Oh, you again. Another gym leader defeated. Well done. Rika informed me that there was an unusual trainer worth keeping an eye on. It seems she meant you. I'd guessed as much. I had the pleasure of observing your last match. I was impressed by the fantastic skill you showed. If you manage to keep your momentum and achieve champion rank, I will be very interested in inviting you to the Pokemon League again. I, I swear that she's probably like the true final boss. Hey, hey, Chris, I got my team all picked out. Oh, thank you. Nice, Diego. Uh, and I, oh, not Diego. <laughs> and I saw you battling the gym leader. You just keep getting better. How oh, good to see you again, champion Nimona. It has certainly been a while. <gasps> Whoa, La Primera? With Chris? I mean, yeah, there we go. She's the first. Why did you call her that? Hmm? Hmm, I wonder why. Everybody calls Miss Gita La Primera because she's just that. She's the real number one. Even higher than us regular champions. She's the top champion. I do indeed hold that claim. Alongside my role as chairwoman of the Pokemon League, that is. I thought you were too busy to spend your time checking in on gyms. I'm not here to inspect the gym. I've 
come to scout some rather promising young talent. Thank you. Whoa, I look away for one second and you're famous, Chris? Uh, but hey, I found Chris first. You may be La Primera, but you can't go st stealing him from me. Ha, huh. I suppose I'll have to get in line. That's right, come on, Chris, time for a battle. Quick, let's go, the battlefield's calling. One moment, please. What is it? I would very much like to observe this match, if that's all right. Totally fine by me. <laughs> yeah, it's like the opposite of that TV show. Sounds fun, right, Chris? Sure, I'm down. Thank you kindly. I'm already excited to see you two face off. I was gonna say, she looked way too crazy not to be like a regular NPC. Let us be on our way then. That's the trick. Look for the hair. If it's a different color than normal hair, they're a protagonist, or at least related to the main story. <laughs> I'm assuming you mean uh, La Primera's hair, right? With the like, little blue stripes. Those are pretty cool. You remember how it all works, right? Once you get badges from all the gyms, you get to throw down against the strongest Pokemon trainers around. I do like her hair too, though, the little green stripe. Yes, you must face the Pokemon League. It's located to the northwest of Mesagosa. The Pokemon League is where trainers are reborn as champions. The greatest honor that they might dream of. Collecting eight gym badges sets you up to take the champion assessment. If you can face the challenge of the final examiner and win, you'll become a champion. Just imagine how that momentum or how that moment would feel. Try getting into that champion mindset. Also, I don't know if you noticed, Alex, but I got my hair done. It's lame, it's just a little silvery. So it's not too much of a difference. Now, set your sights on reaching that big important stage and let's battle. Excuse me one moment. I believe Chris's Pokemon may still be a little fatigued. Ooh, thank you. Sorry, I got caught up in my battle hunger. Well, you should be in great shape now, thanks to La Primera. Okay, Chris, time to put on our game faces. Thank you. You're the first person to actually notice that it's silver. I was That's what I was going for, but most people are like, it looks blonde. And I'm like, aw, I wanted silver. Let's have another fruitful battle. Game face. Nimona. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. I would like to introduce you all to one of my new favorite Pokemons, Tinkerton. I know Love Primera's watching, but no need to go easy. Or whatever she said. I didn't get to read that in time. Uh, Gigaton Hammer. It's like little pink gummy looking character with a giant hammer. Smashes everything. And it's hilarious. <laughs> Oof, that was a good one. Your move really had some zing to it. Pomo, Pomo, Pomo. They're fighting. So yeah, let's go Clogsire. <laughs> Precisely. That's exactly why I love her too. And I like how huggable Clogsire looks. Much shot again. I will say she does look a little awkward just standing there. <laughs> Gumi. Oh! It's another one of my favorites. Huh? 
Acetuckle. Another good huggable Pokemon. Nice and round. Um, actually, I don't know which one's stronger. Okay, Ice Fang it is. Else Karata. Everybody doesn't like this Pokemon. I do. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. You seeing this pretty meta? I'm getting right I'm getting back right into a corner. So I think it looks cool because it's a magician. It has like a mask in the style of the Spanish masquerade mask. Like it makes sense to me. I never noticed that it had a floating leaf next to it, though. Oh, I forgot. My Primera's eyes light up with terrestrialization. Pretty, pretty. All right, pulling out all the stops. Get ready. I want to see you stand up to this. <laughs> and that is why type advantage matters. start paying more and more attention to you. I just know it. I know, that's pretty cool, right? <laughs> An amazing display of talent. Even against one of the, against one as skilled as champion Nemona. That was a splendid match. I enjoyed watching very much. Now even La Primera thinks you're the one to watch. You got so much potential. The way you're going, I better watch my back. You know, since the first time we've met, I've been weirdly sure of one thing. You're going to become a champion. No doubt about it, Chris. The rest of these gems, you can take them. 100%, no problem. I agree. In fact, you should take this. Consider it an investment into your future. Ooh, Terra Blast. The user has to terrestrialize, and which is an energy of its Terra type. Hmm. If a Pokemon uses that move while terrestrialized, that move's type will change to the Terra type of the Pokemon. One day, Chris, you and me are going to have the greatest battle of all. I know it. I'm going to go train up even more than I already have been. She shows you such support and friendship. Or perhaps... Perhaps she hopes you truly might rival her. Oh, she got some crazy eyes. No, I think it's more mere hope. She seems to have complete faith that you will catch up to her. At any rate, allow me to return you to the gym where I found you. Oh yeah, which uh, mech Pokemon is the exception? I feel like the Tyranitar probably looks okay, but there's like a fish one that I've seen that I don't like. Also, Alex, are you still streaming on Wednesdays, or do you have other days uh, back on your schedule? Because I haven't been able to, to catch yours as, as of late. Wait, am I healed up again? Iron Jug... Jugulus. Let me look that up, actually. Might be the one I'm thinking. Oh! Hmm. 
That one doesn't look too bad, actually. To me, at least. Uh, Hydrageon. Hydreigon. I always have, have trouble with that name. Um, yeah, I don't know the name of it, but there is one that I saw in, like, the early sort of, like, leak of the Pokédex. Um, it looks like a fish that has its arms crossed. And that just does not look like a Pokémon to me. <laughs> I'm not sure if you've seen that one yet, though. Alright, you stream Wednesdays, Tuesdays, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday around 7. 7 Central, I assume, too, right? So, yeah, Tuesdays I usually have a DD and d game. Wednesdays I stream, Friday, okay. I could probably catch you... Actually, I'm off D&D &D, uh, with my Sunday group, so... Oh, Eastern, yes, Eastern time. So I will probably stop by this Sunday. Uh, oh yeah, let's see if I have Ultra Balls yet. Ice, finally! And Dive Balls, yay. <laughs> These are actually not that expensive as they are in old games. Uh, yeah, uh, not Diego. I'm actually in a few campaigns. <laughs> I've been a little obsessed with D&D for the last few years. Um, the main one that I'll say is the one I've been playing for about two years now. It's on Sundays. I am a wizard. Uh, a human. You know, kind of boring, but... It made sense when I was doing the character concept. Uh, but they are a necromancer. Not an evil ne necromancer, but a necromancer nonetheless. So I like to create names that most likely don't exist, so... Kirik is the name I created for the wizard. Alright, we got one more stop before tonight's stream ends. Oh, look at that. Swashbuck. Fall form. Have you still not been able to find a new game, Alex? That koala, yeah. Alright, where's my map? We're gonna go to the lake, take on the final titan. Set destination. Alright, I am guessing it's the dragon, as you said. Not Diego. Um, let's see if I can make it. Nope, I forgot to press the button again. Ah, uh, I gotcha. Yeah, a friend of mine's running a temporary Thursday game starting uh, this Thursday, actually. Oh, I should say next Thursday. Um, and in that game, I am playing a fairy. Um, what is it? What am I, uh... Ah, crap, I can't even remember the class I am that I picked. Uh, very... Something match... Oh, Sorcerer. Hey there, Chris. So rumor has it, the False Dragon Titan lurks somewhere in this lake, yeah? But not a single person's ever caught a glimpse of it. Must be some kind of truly terrifying beast. But how are we supposed to search for a thing when we don't even know what it looks like? Uh, I don't know. It's probably very big, since it's a titan. <laughs> sure would be handy if it just ran around crying, I'm the titan or something. If only, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, so I want to catch this weird-ass fish. I keep seeing it, but it's been too strong for me. Oh, yeah, see? They're so strong. Um... 
You were right. You warned me about this even, Diego, right? Everything around here is like in the 50s. So yeah, uh... I have a goal to play every class in D&D, &D, and so... Sorcerer, it's never been one that I've been like super into, so I'm doing it since this is only going to be like a, a three-time campaign, a three-session campaign, so... Just trying it out, already kind of like... Yeah, Sorcerer's not for me. It's kind of hard though, when you go from Wizard to Sorcerer, and like your spells get cut so much... Wait, that's not a special attack. Oh, it is a special attack. Um, but yeah, when you go from that, it's kind of like, I want to play wizard again. <laughs> yeah, I really want to play Paladin, um, because I have a great character in mind from that, and I really want to play a rogue, and I, because I have a great character for that. The only problem is, uh, and it's not like a problem problem, but the group I'm in, it like, Super. The DM likes to do super long campaigns, so I've been, like I said, I've been playing this group for like two years. The entire time, I've been a, I've been a, a wizard, the same wizard. But you know, hopefully one day I'll get to try out those concepts. Too many concepts, not enough games. All right, let's see if I can catch you. I don't know if you're water, so let's just go ultra ball. Uh, nice. Tatsugiri. Let's figure out what the heck you are. Tatsugiri. Mimicry Pokemon. Oh, it's a dragon. Bird Pokemon are its main prey. This Pokemon knows it's weak, so it hunts with a partner. Hmm. Stretchy form. Weird. So, I'm a little concerned I might not be able to take this on tonight, but we're going to give it a shot. Alright, where is this thing? Did not see it. What are you? Ah! Robot fish. So this is one of the robotic Pokemon that I wasn't too, like, uh, against. Um, but I still don't like that it looks like a robot. <laughs> oh, you're not a steel type, though. What the heck are you? Oof, that doesn't look good if that's a critical hit. Did you like down down him or did you just like knock him unconscious? Because we actually had a recent arc before this break uh, where things got a little heated. Um, yeah, stealing from your own party mates, never a good thing, I feel like. Somebody's character stole a... Uh, new spell book that I had just gotten and we had and he took off and he was like a, a rogue so like we had like almost no chance of finding him but um, luckily we had somebody who has like a summon steed spell and they have like a, a pegasus so we got eyes on him and then we were able to finally catch up with them nobody died but things got heated <laughs> In game, of course, you know. We, out of game, we're all, we're all, you know, just going along with the fiction. All right. I think Tinker has got a few more hits in her. Oh, well, maybe not. Right. 
Well, you're definitely water. Yeah, we kind of have a rule in our group. Oh, Mega. Well, I don't want to kill him. Uh, this shouldn't kill. Oh, crap. I forgot I had psychic attacks. Oh, I gotta feed the cat. Alright. Um, let's try a netball. So yeah, in our group, we have sort of like a mutual understanding amongst everybody. It's like, don't do anything that is not consented. Um, so even though like the person stole something, like it was kind of ran by me first, like, and I was like, yeah, I, I go with it. I love it. I love the, the story hook here. Um, so while well, things can get a little psychic type, really. Uh, when Velusa discards unnecessary flesh, its mind becomes honed and its psychic powers increases. The spare flesh has a mild but delicious flavor. Huh, I guess it's just a really spiky fish. Not a robot. Hmm. Well, that's surprising. <laughs> I'm assuming scales is, is what they're equating to flesh. Also, it's huge. It's eight feet long. All right, I'm gonna have to take a quick break. I need to go feed the cat. Um, I thought my girlfriend had done it before she left, but she just texted me and said she had not, so. Um, it's not really a pause button in this game, so I'm just gonna go to an island real quick and hang out. Also, these things are gonna probably attack me. Calm down, Corydon. Calm down. All right. I will be right back. Oh, okay. Let's do that. There we go. You can see my uh, last few games I've played. But, um, yeah, I will uh, be back in a sec. <laughs>
Alright. I have returned. I did not realize it was already 10 o'clock. Where does the time go? Alright. Let's find this... Oh, what the hell are these things? Like giant catfish. Okay, that's cool. <clears throat> Ooh, what are you eating for dessert? I am unfortunately out of sweets in the house, and I am too craving something nice and desserty this evening. Alright, Titan Pokemon, False Dragon, what could that be? Oh! Oh, pumpkin cake, not pumpkin pie. I don't think I've ever had a pumpkin cake, that's interesting. Yeah, I guess where are my manners? How was your Thanksgiving? <sighs> so I wonder how I'm going to find this thing. I have to fight that guy, maybe? He'll tell me. Oh, yeah, that does sound good. I ate too much food. <laughs> Usually for Thanksgiving, um, my girlfriend has some family that lives in Colorado, and my family's all from here. So we, as weird as it sounds, we usually kind of split up for Thanksgiving, uh, but this year we decided we can probably hit both houses and uh to you know not be rude i ate at both houses and i regretted it i was like falling asleep i started streaming last night because i was like I, if i don't do something i'm gonna fall asleep sure put some effort in coming all the way out here on your little legs while i have us riding a giant lizard i don't know if you noticed Oscar. Kapadraja, Clogsire. Oh, you are strong, aren't you? Ah, damn it. It sucks, too, because they, like, live on two opposite ends of like a very long drive so to do both it was like an hour commute pretty much that didn't take you out eh regular headbutt too. All right, Oscar. Spill the beans. What am I? Where's this Titan I'm looking for? Okay. No help at all. Thanks a lot. Let's heal up my Pokemon real quick. Nope, not the box, not the box. Not the box, whoops. <laughs> there we go.
and then auto heal. And we're good. Okay. Uh, hmm. Let's try that island and see if that's anything. I will say, some of these puzzles are a little reminiscent of uh, the older games and their difficulty. Like, nothing too difficult, but it's not, like, super dumbed down, like how they have been recent gens. That's another catfish. A Gyarados. I mean, technically Gyarados is a false dragon. Everyone thinks it's dragon, but it's not. But I doubt they would have a regular Gyarados be a Titan Pokemon. get on top of this rock, and if I don't see anything, I definitely ask for a hint. Oh, but well, there's one of those weird spike things. Pull out the stake. Let me look around. Because the thing about them, I've usually been able to see them. But I don't see anything. This is all pretty big lake, too. Alright, uh, I will ask for that hint. If you do not mind, my friend. Whoa. Sometimes Coriodon is hard to control. I heard a stupid gimme ghoul. But where? Where are you? It isn't swimming. Oh, is it flying? Have you guys seen anything? I'm invisible. <laughs> So it must be in an island then, huh? Alright. Uh, so in this game there's uh, these really huge Pokemon that are called Titan Pokemon. And it's because they get so big because they're eating like the special like magical herbs and stuff. Um, and they're usually guarding the herbs. So we have to defeat them in order to get access to the herb. It's a whole like interesting side plot. We're uh, we're trying to save this guy's Pokemon who got like really messed up and hurt, and it's a dog Pokemon, so it's like it just looks like a really old, beat up dog, and it's really sad actually. <laughs> this is the last one that I need to get to finish that quest. All right, I really don't want to swim on the whole lake.
But as far as what this Pokemon looks like, I have no idea. Starting to get some frame rate issues. Ooh, oh, a life orb. Um, well, these are the last two islands. I think this may be it, right? That looks like that rock will break. Oh, Dragonite. I think it probably messed me up. I don't think I can. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'll take another hint. <laughs> this would probably be something that I would look up. So, if you uh, if you have a hint, I would gladly take it. I mean, it's not this dude, is it? Because he's not huge. Literally yells Titan. It yells Titan. Titan, Titan. Is there a Pokemon that's named Titan? Okay, so basically, whatever I find the speech bubble, I will find the Pokemon. Oh, there's some land over there, I haven't checked. There's also land over there. Hmm. Ugh, this game is struggling with the water. Whoa. I don't want to fight you guys right now. This is where the marker is. Oh, is it one of these little guys? Tashi. Is it you? Yep. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Well. You're supposed to squish it. Squish it. Alright. If I just talk to it. I bet. I mean, they look small. Oh! Okay. I wasn't expecting that to happen. <laughs> Don Dozo, the False Dragon Titan. I wonder if that's a reference to... No, it wouldn't be. Okay, so... 
Steel does not work on you. Uh, oh yeah, well, you're false. Hmm. Tun's doing okay. Let's keep her up for now. I meant to do Rock Smash. we got that could help here. Let's try you. Shiny Annihilate. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, go out punching. Oh yeah, I. They added that feature in, I think, last gen, and I'm, it is really cute when it happens. So I don't think Satata will do much because it's not an actual dragon. But... You're kind of a thick boy. Maybe you can take some hits. Um... Damn it. Jeez, that was... Wow. Okay. Hmm. Can I toxic you? Don't die? Okay, thank god. Oh, nice. All right, this one is in the bag. Thank you, thank you. It's a great ability. I love it. A good night. <laughs> Wait. Find the false dragon. Okay. It's right there. But first, my mons need some help. Nope, not you. You. I really thought Satana uh, would have better defense. seen a giant catfish around. 
also bad at grabbing these while running. I wonder if it's on the map. Okay, yeah. It's just on the other side of the island. it on the island. Whoa, watch it, Gumi. All right, calm down. Marvin, Chris, did you find the Titan? <laughs> Do you not see the big fish in front of you? So that's it. Sure is a big, uh, dragon? Wait, is it even a dragon? Or is it a fish? Huh? <laughs> the, the little sushi guy got eaten by the Titan. Yeesh, didn't expect to see the food chain in action today. Alright, you better help out, Arvin. Probably should have switched over to my other person. Okay, oh well. This food chain's got me pretty fascinated. I'm gonna dig in and make a meal of this battle. Ah, oh, don't you just take down. All right, I better switch now. Kill your greedent. As always, Arvin, I gotta do this all by myself. At least she took some of the hits for me. I just need to wait out like, what, two more turns. That should be good. Really good combo for Cogsire. It being a ground and poison, but also having like immunity to water. Alright, is this enough? Oof. A little hair. to see the ending of the first story. We, we did it, Gris. Now that the Titan's taken care of, next up, um, I bet that 
That little fish is still up, huh? Wow, the little sushi guy escaped without becoming that thing's lunch. Ta ta Titan? What? Does that thing want to fight too? Super Saiyan. Alright, so this is a dragon. Which means this should do a lot. But not enough. <laughs> Seriously? switch, can I? Also, my controller's starting to lose power in this one as well. Right, time to shine. Oh, okay, well, at least that does more damage this time. Ice Fang. Hey, I don't remember. What was it second time? I think it was water, huh? So this is not going to do as much as I hoped. Are you using just regular poker balls? Or are you like using a uh, ultra balls too? Oh, come on! It's a Tuttle. We're gonna have to evolve you, aren't we? All right, Clogsire, finish the job. So wait, do you automatically get uh? Maridon. I mean, it's worked twice now. Huh, interesting. Have you been able to, like, Put a status effect on it, that like ups your chances too. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. You don't have like hypnosis or thunder wave? Because, yeah, that that's uh, not a good position to be in. Speaking of not good positions, let's bring you back out, Tinkaton. Do nothing. Just for that, you're getting the hammer. Smashed into oblivion. I love her. <laughs> Tatsugiri. Did you say before fighting it, at least? Please say yes. <laughs> Alright, let's find out what happens to this dog. Phew, nice job, Chris. That's my hard-working work little bud. Maybe the Titan was both those Pokemon together? Like some kind of combo meal? <laughs> the 
little one came out of here, which means there should be some Herba Mystica inside. Let's go, Chris. That must be it. Voila! This is gonna be spicy. The last Herba Mystica. Yes. All right, let's see what the book has to say. So it seems spicy Herba Mystica is supposed to boost your metabolism. Gives you gives your circulation a boost and helps flush out all those toxins, along with a ton of ton of sweat. You know what's next? It's chow time. And here we go. Trusty Arvin's <laughs> chock block full of cheer final herb super sandwich. Squeeze this badge tight and cry beautiful tears of friendship as you eat, okay? <laughs> Looks burnt. Alright, Corydon, come on out. Eat my sandwich. So it does get the ability to climb. I was hoping it had that. Alright. I'm gonna say the name right this time. I guess it's my boss Tiff's turn then. This poor dog, man. Come on, bud. Eat up. And the music. It's gonna make you all better, I promise. Chris and I really did our best to get this for you. <laughs> We're gonna play with your favorite ball as much as you want. I'm getting a little teary. You know, just like we used to. Please get better. That's all I want, really. That dog better stand up. Game? <laughs> okay. Mabostiff. Oh, this is an actual cutscene. You did your best, bud. <clears throat> I'm going to turn off my camera for a minute. <laughs> um, where is my camera? Oh yeah, he's walking. Man, I've never cried in a Pokemon game before. I think it's gonna be all right. It's walking again, at least. C 
Seems that Coriodon has regained all of its powers except for the power to battle. It should now be able to climb up any vertical surfaces it grabs while you're riding upon it. I knew you were the right one to entrust it to, Chris. Ah, listen to you. Like you had anything to do with it. That voice. Arvin, are you there? I've been searching so long for a way to reach you. Because... Because no one else can get into my lab but you. Excuse me? Please take Chris back to the lighthouse with you. To the lab at Poco Path. I'll reach out once more when you we arrive there. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm ready to go back on camera. I guess you probably already know, but that's my mom. Ah! <laughs> All right. Always bury under her work, off pursuing her own research. <clears throat> Never at home with me. That's the first time I've ever heard her voice in years, you know? And now what? The first thing I get to be is treated like some kind of errand boy? At least the crackling voice kind of adds to it, right? <laughs> She's seriously unbelievable. But I'm guessing you and Coriodon probably want to go, eh? Not gonna lie, I feel like my blood's boiling. But... Sure, fine. I'll get you into the lab. What else can I do? The lab is off Poco Path, at the lighthouse where you and me first met. Come on, let's get moving before I change my mind. Mom, where have you been all this time? I hope the story stops here for a moment, because I think this is going to be where I end tonight. Oh, thank God. <clears throat> Alright, um... Thanks for watching, everybody! I'm gonna stay off camera for a moment, because I'm a mess. Um, but yeah, I'll be back, um, soon with more Pokemon Scarlet, uh, and yeah, I hope you all have a good night. So, bye! <laughs>